Karl Kellner, the founder of Ordo Templi Orientis, was an Austrian Freemason. According to his own statement, he had been given the secrets of ancient magic and mysticism by three people, and was tasked with forming a branch of the Hermetic Brotherhood of Light Society. Kellner later came into contact with Freemasons, Rosicrucians, and Theosophists, Gnostics who claimed that all religions were basically the same. Kellner thought he could unite various mystical communities with the mysteries of religion and science. Thus, he decided to establish his own lodge. Unlike the Masons, he would recruit women as members. Apart from that, the organizational structure was very similar to Freemasonry. The high officials of the Ordo Templi Orientis were already high-level Masons. Theodore Rus, which Kellner founded together with Ordo Templi Orientis in 1904, was the name who tried to revive the Illuminati before. Rus, a 33rd-degree Scottish Rite Freemason, became head of the Ordo Templi Orientis following Kellner's death in 1905. One of Kellner and Rus' interests was sexual magic. They had translated Tantra sex methods from the East. They believed that the correct use of male and female sexual fluids would produce an object of power like a philosopher's stone. Some of the lodge's rituals included such sexual rites. This was one reason why women were registered as members. Alistair Crowley joined the lodge in 1910. They met on a trip by Rus to England, and he was quickly promoted to the Ordo Templi Orientis, becoming Grand Master of England and Ireland in 1912. According to Crowley in the founding manifesto of the lodge, the Ordo Templi Orientis included all the traditions of the Knights Templar, Gnostics, Illuminati, Knights of Malta, the Holy Grail, Rosicrucians, Freemasons, in all their rites, and Golden Dawn, and all other hermetic currents. Crowley, who loved speech and fame, had printed and circulated the mysteries of the Golden Dawn. After Rus's death in 1921, Ordo Templi Orientis passed entirely under Crowley's administration. This would give him the opportunity to spread the religious teaching he called Thelema, which he had founded 20 years earlier in his book, The Book of the Law. Under the direction of Crowley, Ordo Templi Orientis opened to America and began to spread. In 1942, the occultist Jack Parsons, who was also a rocket engine researcher, became the head of the Agape Lodge in America, affiliated with Ordo Templi Orientis. Among Parsons' students was L. Ron Hubbard, the founder of the cult of Scientology. After Crowley's death in 1947, Carl Germer became the head of Ordo Templi Orientis. Ordo Templi Orientis pursued a low profile until the 1960s and did not accept new members. Meanwhile, faction conflicts were taking place within the lodge. After Germer's death, Grady McMitty took over the lodge, which remained headless for a while until 1969 and became its head as caliph. After his death in 1985, Members of the Ninth Degree Lodge elected William Breeze as president, which he still holds. However, other Ordo Templi Orientis branches still exist, all claiming to be authorized by Crowley. The movement is thought to have around 3,000 members today. Other ongoing branches include the Holy Order of Are Horquit, Are Horquit Holy Lodge, the Order of Thelemic Knights, Thelemic Knights Lodge, and Thelemic Order of the Golden Dawn. Golden Dawn Telemic Lodge.